So I'm going to be talking about why you keep losing at online poker and the one trick that's helped me mentally to take my game to the next level. Now, as I'm getting into this topic, I'm going to be breaking down seven or eight hands here in Ignition Poker. And of course, if you guys are looking for some great poker sites and resources, we'll have some links in the description. All right, so what is this one trick? Well, it's pretty simple. You have to believe in yourself and that you can win playing higher stake games. You see, years ago, I would dabble in lower stake games, making deposits of anywhere from $100 to $500 at a time. And I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate, and I'd end up losing that money. But when I decided to take online poker as a more serious side hustle, I eventually made a $2,000 deposit, started playing one to no limit online, and the rest is history. But if I didn't believe in myself enough to invest more money into this game and me personally playing it, I never would have moved up in stakes. And that's the thing, guys. Eventually, you have to move up in stakes if you want to make more money and just excel. Now, I've mentioned that the players typically aren't much different from playing you know, $50 cash games up into the $200 limit games. Now, when you get to 500 no limit, which is what you're watching right now, it does get a little bit harder. But at the same time, uh, you know, I, the players at the mid-stake games are not as good as you'd think. And if you're afraid to try it, I'm telling you, man, just save up a little bit more money and try playing, you know, the $200 games um, and then eventually the 500 And you're going to notice that, you know, these players are not that great. But, you know, you do have to believe in yourself because every time you get into an online poker session, there's no guarantee you're going to win that session. But you just want to play really good poker, keep improving, uh, you know, every single week and uh, not getting emotional, you know, not... Not getting emotional is a big thing that took me years, you know, especially when you take a bad loss, but you know, you don't let it affect you and you kind of just play through it. Um, Anyways, you guys got to stick around because we do have some good hands coming up here. You're also going to see some bluffs I put in. You know, you have to be bluffing in order to win long term. Bluffing is a skill. It takes time to get good at, uh, but you know, you got to get it into your game eventually. So keep that in mind if you're not bluffing right now. Okay, this was a really tough uh, call for me, but I did make it, and um, you know, we beat that guy, which was nice. Uh, he put a really good bet in there, though. That was not an easy call. You can see I let the, the time bank run on it uh, pretty far. Also, if you guys want to comment below about anything I'm talking about here, the mid-state games, feel free to do that below in the comments. I'll get back to you. It takes me a couple of days usually, but I always message everybody back. Okay, anyways, we had a uh, pair of jacks here in the big blind this guy put a bet in so i i mean we have top pair maybe we could turn a seven right that's what i was thinking not really liking the kicker in this spot all right turn card was a queen not the card we were looking for really hoping for a check all the way around in this spot Okay, and we got it, and we hit two pair on the river. So I felt like my hand was probably good. Really nothing to worry about, honestly. So put in some value here at the end. And we did not get it. Okay, next hand we had pocket jacks in the small blind, which is nice. Okay, so I three bet this one to 45. He's going to make the call. And of course, you know, you don't want to see an ace with pocket jacks, but we had to deal with it. So at this point, I'm really just like, check, 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 check. That's all I'm thinking. Now, we still beat a lot of hands. Obviously, we're beating king, queen in King Jack, but we are losing uh, basically any ace, uh, so. And he had an ace deuce suited. That was pretty ridiculous. I mean, come on now. All right, next hand we had ace nine in the big blind. Another thing you guys should be doing when you get raised in uh, late position, like with one or two players left to act, you should be three betting a lot of hands. Uh, you know, to, to protect your blinds when you have a decent hand like this. Um, you know, uh, worst case scenario, they call and you hit, you know, top pair. 
but you should be three betting in late position like this. Uh, anyways, this hand was interesting. I didn't even decide to bluff at this at all. I, we kind of just went check all the way down here, and ace high is going to end up being good. So that's why I'm saying you guys should be, you know, three betting a lot of the time. And we beat that guy. He had ace eight. That was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, here we go with ace five. Now I love ace five, uh, especially when it's suited. It's one of those hands that just flops really well. You know, uh, ace five, you know, um, I don't know what to say. I feel like it's better than ace 10. I feel like it, it just plays better than ace 10. All right, anyways, three bet again here. Okay, and we missed this flop completely. Really, we're looking for runner runner cards at this point for like a flush. I mean, if we turn an ace, that would be cool. Now, I bet here representing something because, you know, I did three bet this. He does make the call, which I didn't want to see. Turn card was a 10 of hearts. Not looking too good for us, honestly. But I decided to go along with my story here. Now, he made a quick call, uh, which means that maybe he had like a pair of jags, something like that. Anyways, I represented having a big hand and it worked out that time. That does not always work out. But like I said, you guys, you got to be bluffing. You got to add it into your game. All right, this hand was pretty crazy. Um, we had another ace five. And like I said, ace five, it's just one of those hands, man. Uh, it just, it plays well. All right, so I'm going to make the call here. Just a $5 raise. Okay, um, not a terrible flop. It does give us a straight draw with the deuce. So basically, I'm thinking in my head here, you know, we've got a uh, deuce or an ace we could hit, which could be good. Now, we did get there, but there is a flush draw out there as well. So I am aware of that. But at this point, feeling pretty good about this hand. Okay, both players making the call here. Um, you know, keep in mind, I do see the flush draw. It's also likely that somebody could have, you know, ace, queen, king, queen, maybe a set, you know, something like that. Uh, anyways, I decided to let this one check down because, like I said, I just wasn't 100%. We took it down. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, uh, some more hands here in Ignition as well as some of my thoughts on just believing in yourself in general. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next poker video.